Welcome to Fast Talk. If you feel squeezed, pressed, and like things are a little bit messy just now, then God has a word directly for you today. Fast Talk is 600 seconds of short, short, intense revelation where we hear the present truth of what God is saying. So please like, share, subscribe, let other people know about this video so that we can be a resource to others and to the church. I woke up and heard the Spirit of God say this, I have brought my people, I have brought the church, I have even brought nations into my potter's house today, where I am forming and reforming, shaping and reshaping you, the church, and nations. And we are introduced to this concept of the potter's house in an encounter that Jeremiah has in chapter 18 of his book. And it talks about seeing the potter at a wheel and the potter is shaping and reshaping this piece of clay. It's spoiled at one point, but the potter doesn't discard the clay. Instead, he uses the mess to create a new vessel. And the spirit of the Lord says this, I have you in the formation zone right now. And that is a good thing. And many of you will go, well, thank you, Jesus. But we know that we are formed best when God presses us and pressurizes us. And the Lord says, I am pressing you. I am squeezing you. I am reshaping you. And the Lord says, I am causing that which has become a place of stuckness in your life, a place of sticking, a place of slow movement in your life to be squeezed out of you and to come to the surface so that I can form you into a perfected vessel. And the Spirit of the Lord is speaking particularly to families right now. And the Lord says, I am forming families and I am reforming family units. And just as with the potter's house in the book of Jeremiah, there was a mess before there was a perfection. So the Lord says, I am causing there to be perfection in families, even as a result of a short period of sharp mess, sharp mess. It is a short, sharp mess that will bring perfection to family units. And this galvanizing of family units is gathering families back together, reconnecting families, healing families, so that families can become people uh, bonded that host the glory of God together. Individually, the Lord is forming and reforming you. And I heard the Spirit of God say, I am causing the mess of fear and anxiety to come to the surface as I press and squeeze you even right now so that I can set you free from those particular influences that have ruled your decision making, says the Lord. And I'm going to form you into a fearless vessel into a confident vessel, into a vessel free from the, the toils, the fears uh, of the future, from the, the pain of anxiety, the ruling of anxiety, says the Lord, as I form you in this sort of way. And I heard the Lord say, particularly even um, into the church, the Lord says, I am forming oneness the Lord says in the church. And the church is coming into a period of time where there is divine grace for the healing of disunity and the healing of painful relationships. And many of you are going to get healed right now that have been in churches that have caused you pain. You're going to be healed even of that pain as I prophesy over you in this fast talk. And the Lord says, I am going to bring a church to the surface, the Lord says, in these days that will not cause pain even in the way that it has by accident in the past. And the Lord says, there is going to be a joy in church relationships. There is going to be a joy in church belonging. There is going to be a a joy in turning up to church and being part of a church and being part of a global church in a way unlike any other season before. And so the Spirit of God says, as I invite you into the potter's house, expect there to be healing, expect there to be freedom, expect there to be liberation. And the Spirit of God says, as I form you, I am creating you into a vessel for my glory. I am creating you into a vessel 
for my glory. And as you go through this season, this narrow season of pressing and squeezing and of there being perfection through short, sharp mess, the Lord says you will come out the other side holding a greater weight of my glory, of my presence, of my power. For you shall be a vessel of my glory, for my glory, says the Spirit of God. And the Lord says this, do not resist the squeezing and the pressing. Do not resist me bringing to the surface that which I need to set you free from and heal you from. Do not resist it. Instead, pray, I welcome your hands, God, as the master potter to come and shape and reshape, to come and form and reform me. And the Lord says that as you do that, you're going to know a joy even in the process. And yes, it will be painful, says the Lord. But the Spirit of God says it's not going to be an earthly sort of pain where it makes you want to cower in a corner. The Lord says it's going to be that type of pain that makes you go, yes, I don't want that in my life anymore. Take it, God. Oh, yes, I don't want to be like this anymore. God, heal me from that. God, oh, yes, I can see the future and I can see what you've got for me. Take me there, God. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. So I bless you uh, in these days when it does feel a little bit tight, it does feel like God is pressing us to endure for that short, sharp moment where there is seeming mess, but it's so that God can then take a mess and use it to create a perfected vessel just as he did in Jeremiah 18. I bless you on the potter's wheel to be reformed and formed again into a vessel for his glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.